The world of comic books can seem daunting to anyone curious about getting into them, or even to those returning to the hobby. Characters are constantly refreshed, new storylines written, and even whole universes rebooted. It can be incredibly difficult to know where to start. Luckily, we are here to help you with some reading recommendations. In this episode, we are going to look at a moving story written by Grant Morrison with art by Frank Quitely. No, not that one. This time, we're looking at We Three. It's only a three-issue, standalone series, so an easy one for anyone to pick up and dive straight into. The short length of the story does make it tricky to explore in any depth here, however, without spoiling too much of the story, but we'll try our best not to spoil it. We Three tells the story of three animals, a dog, a cat, and a rabbit, who underwent experimentation in a lab to become deadly weapons for use by the military. The military then decides to remove funding for the program with an order to destroy the animals. With some help from a sympathetic human, our protagonists escape, fleeing the compound in search of a new home. The rest of the story sees them being pursued by their former captives using cruel means to try and stop our heroes. It's a simple enough plot, but what makes it a standout story is how Morrison and Quietly combine action and emotion so expertly in such a small amount of space. Morrison and Quietly are best known for their work together on All-Star Superman in 2006, but prior to Wii 3's release in 2004, they had worked together on New X-Men and The Invisibles. They were an accomplished team at this point, and that confidence shows in Wii 3. Quietly is allowed to dwell on panels without the need for dialogue, such as opening parcels or whole pages devoted to CCTV footage. It's around a dozen pages into the first issue before we even get any dialogue. Quietly's action sequences are beautifully violent in contrast to those early slower scenes. Different angles and framing lead to frantic scenes with the reader brought along for the ride at breakneck speed. Gory details are singled out and magnified so nothing is missed. With deliberately limited dialogue, Morrison makes every word count. The broken speech from our fairy friends is full of emotion, but in contrast, the majority of the people are cold with little humanity. In short, it's a gory sci-fi that explores humanity's treatment of animals, created by two of the industry's best. What's not to like? In Frank Quitely's words, it was Grant Morrison's best looking work to date. We give it a good dog out of 10. So, let us know your thoughts down below. Have you read it before? Will you now add it to your list? Don't forget to support your local comic shop where possible. Thanks for watching.